Hi folks, I did a, a poll on my Patreon page recently um, asking if people use a Ron Ranson hate brush for their watercolour paintings. I've had a, a, f a few queries in the past about trying to replicate what I do in the, in the, in the painting demonstrations and it, and it occurred to me, I, I was just curious how many people are actually using the same equipment that I'm using and, and, and if not then Maybe that's where the, the, the trouble is. I think one of the biggest problems, especially with brushes, I think brushes probably more than anything, is buying cheap, cheap equipment and cheap brushes. I've seen, I mean, I really have seen some of the brushes in the shops, in the cheap, you've you got no chance, absolutely no chance. It'll put you off paint before you'd even started. So I thought I'd do like a little poll just to see exactly what brushes were being used. Um, and it turned out, Probably expectedly, right? I'd say that over 90% of, of, the, of, the, of the patrons were using the Ron Ranson Hake. Um, a small percentage, less than 10%, were using a Hake brush, but it was a different brand. Now, I don't know how these other brands um, are going to work. Whether, I mean, to me, trying to learn. The Ron Ranson technique, the fast and loose. It just only it just seemed logical to use a Ron Ranson brush. I use the the Pro Art Ron Ranson brush. Um, other people have commented that um, they use a hake brush, um, but they can't seem to get the the same sort of effect. Especially the the chisel edge seems to be a, a common problem with many people. I mean, I just dip the very tips of the hairs into the water, and that brings a nice brings all the hairs together. You get a nice chisel edge. You might have to wipe the excess off from the tea towel. Um, but a, a lot of people, I get a lot of comments, people struggling to do that, and I'm assuming it's because they're using a different brand, which possibly re reacts differently. I suppose different brands and, and makes are going to have their own little uh, um, things, ways of doing things. And then there were uh, there was a couple of people who weren't using a hate brush at all. Um, I remember when I first started, I was watching. Um, watching a Charles Evans video and he uses a flat brush and I tried using a flat brush for a bit before I noticed, uh, before I started doing Ron Rance and stuff. And you can get some interesting effects. I generally just use the flat brush now for doing buildings and, and boats and masts. So again, in, in conclusion, if there's one bit of advice you take from this, buy a decent brush, don't, don't bother with the cheap stuff. I mean, I know they're not cheap. I mean, I think I paid about 12 quid for my last Ron Ranson brush. I know, I know it's, it's quite expensive, but it's definitely worth it. I mean, you get a lot of paintings out of it. It gets a lot of abuse, especially if I'm um, doing like foliage and trees and I'll scuff all the airs up as I'm drying it on the tea towel. Probably doesn't do it any good, but it does, it does last, you know, it lasts a decent amount of time. So if you're struggling with a cheap brush, buy a, buy a proper brush.